Hello everybody, how are you today? I'm Michelle Wells, I'm a dim, uh, dim, dim, dim. we'll start again. Hi, my name is Michelle Wells, I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from Tasmania, Australia. So, I'll just see if anybody's hopping on, I feel like I'm, because you might sit back here and see how I go, so, I am on a bit early, so, um, but while I'm waiting to um, hop on, up uh, for everybody to hop on, we've got a few um, things that I'm going to um, show later, um, or show soon. Oh, and I didn't do that either. Oh, I might have to do that too, so while I'm at it. But um, I will, oh, hopefully I, I know where they are. So anyway, so... What I might do is I might pop the camera around. Hopefully it's filming. So it says I'm live. So, but um, I am a little bit early. Well, I think yeah, five minutes early. So, but um, while I'm waiting, I might just pop the camera down, and um, we'll see how I go from there. So, alrighty, just bear with me. So, I'll turn it around. Down. Hopefully, oh sorry, okay, hopefully it's at my desk, so I'll work it out in a minute to where I am, so, okay, I'll leave it there for a second, so I will, oh I've lost my information. I'll leave that all there for you to have a little look. Just a few little things that are coming in May. Um, and I'll see if I can find myself here. So, hopefully I'm on. So, I think I've found myself. So, oh, better turn myself down. So, I think I'm, I'm there. So... So if you pop on, say hi, let me know where you're watching from, um, if you haven't already seen um, seen me before, so, but um, I might pop that up a little bit, so, and I'll just see how I go, so, it says I'm live, so anyway, I'll, I'll keep going. So, and then my phone decides to ring. So, alrighty, okay. So, um, during the month of May, um, the starting from the 1st of May, um, the product medley, Everything is Rosy. Um, is a little like a kit um, packed with a whole heap of different things um, to make. Comes with stamp sets, um, foil, um, dies. It just comes with a whole range of um, things. I have on my website um, my business page um, all about it. So if you yeah want to pop on there, you will see a list of what's available in that. But that's from the 1st of um, May right through to the 31st of May. Uh, only for, it's only why um, it's only limited time only, so um, I reckon this will go fairly quick. So if you're interested, um, yeah, send me a message and and um, I will or on the 1st of May, yeah, pop online and um, purchase one for yourself. And that's $139. So, but that's a whole whole lot. There to make all sorts of things with so hi margaret hi gail how are you and the other thing i can't wait for is the paper pumpkin in america um for the ones that don't know in america they get paper pumpkin um monthly and it's through a subscription so um where we don't get it in australia but we're getting a once off um hopefully we do get more but this comes on the 15th of May, 
um, and like we haven't seen inside of it yet but um, yeah it's like has stamp sets and but um, this little card here is one of the cards that um, that's in the kit so that's a sample of one of the cards that she's done so yeah and it's called hugs from Shelley because um, yeah she's designing this um, this um, paper pumpkin this this month so or next month so so yeah if you're interested in that um, on the 15th of May um, you can order that so and they're $37 and I think there's um, four designs of um, four different cards so there's four different cards but you get um, four eight twelve yeah, well, I'm not really quite sure. I'll just have to have another look at that anyway. But, yeah. So, that's that for that. So, today I decided that I'd do a, um, a Mother's Day, um, something for Mother's Day. So, I decided I'm going to make, I had a card, I can't remember where I popped it. I had a card. And um, I was inspired by this card, so. Um, but before I do start that, I, I've lost, I've lost everything. I had everything all organised, and um, I can't find where I put those. Oh, here they are. I had all, all my little. Actually, I'll pop that out there. And everybody that was in the drawer from last week. Um, that shared my video so if you type shared in the comments and um, share my video you'll go into a draw to win um, I'm not quite sure whether like today what I'm making um, so I'll just get all these out so I was meant to have all these done but I was a bit slack so <laughs> but yeah I have um had a little bit of a bad week, so, but hopefully it's all behind me now, so, but I'll, I'll quickly do these, um, and fold them up, so, I should have had all this done, should have been prepared, shouldn't I, so, but anyway, I've got everything all designed up, organised for my, hi Jenny, how are you, so, and anybody else that I, I've missed, so actually I might share it. I'll just quickly share that while I um, pop these in. So I'll give them a shake. I'll share to a page. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to share to this page. And share to this page and then um, I'll be back with you okay done so alrighty so um, last week I made um, last week I made these two cards and so that's what I'm going to give away today so the first person I draw out will win this one. So, so alrighty. And the first person that I've drawn out is Carol Lacey. So, Carol, if you see this um, or you watch the replay, um, that is coming out in the mail to you. And I think I've got your address. So, that's okay, Carol. You just won this card here. So, that one. So the second person, hi Donna, how are you? You caught me live. So the second person is Jenny Osman. So you've got that one, I know you're on too. So well done ladies, congratulations. So Carol, you'll be getting this one and Jenny Osman, you'll be getting that one. So I I think I've, I can go get your um, address, Jenny, um, from, the, from the Wild Heart Crafters. So... So I'll, I'll pop those in the mail to use um, over the weekend. So congratulations, ladies. I'll pop those back in there so I don't um, 
we don't lose them and I'll I'll do that later on this afternoon okay so like I was said I can't find oh I had it here a while ago and it's gone it's gone walkies but I um I have made oh hang on I'll see if I can find it quickly no I just had it and I was gonna um show but anyway so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna make a little album so and I was inspired because years ago I made this little one um and it's got a picture of my son and my naked grandson in the shower but um but I made um this one a few years ago so with um but I wanted to make another similar little one today but sort of like a card version so so that's what I'm going to do today so so I'll get started so what I've done is I've already got everything all pre-cut because I um so what I've done is I've got two pieces of um I can't think what's called fresh fig um and each piece was 10, I think 10 by 5. And then I just cut them. Um, so actually, I'll show you what I mean. So I'll do another one. So um, I'll do, I'm trying to think what colours are sitting there at me. So, no. Okay. I don't know if this one would be big enough. No. So what I've done, like, is I had I got a piece, um, piece of like a piece. I've got a twelve by twelve um, piece of cardstock, and I cut two pieces, like two pieces ten by five, and then um, then those two pieces I folded in half, so it made like made two cards, like a card, and then I just stuck my other piece you probably see it's not stuck down I just stuck one piece just one side on top of it just to make this card here so but it's not going to be a card so but I'm not going to do the um inside uh, the outside yet because I want to decorate the inside so each panel is five by five um, inches and I've cut I've cut a heap of um, like pieces, and these are four and three quarters by four and three quarters, I think. So, yeah, four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And all I'm going to do is work out what I want to have on the inside. Oh, that one's too big. It's not one of them. So I was thinking about putting one here and one there. And one there for the inside so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue those down so while I glue those down I think I need a new glue because I don't think my other one is coming out so hi Shirley hi Julianne hi Shelly um, and anybody else I've missed hi I'm here yakking away so I'll grab a new glue so I'm going to open it so. but I um, I used to make lots of scrapbook um, pages so what I'm going to do is I actually liked it this way around so I decided so there's a lot of elements to this one that I'm going to be doing today so so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick that down in that section there. Make sure I get it all lined up. So, and I'm going to use um, a bit of glue on this one as well. Make sure I've got the right side, that side. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down the sides of the vellum so you're not really going to see so 
see this one and then just work pop it down in the center so, and make sure you line it up and I'm not really worried about um, that because that will do dry um, clear so and you won't see that and this piece I'm just going to pop on here and just get him all lined up hopefully I've got them all lined up I'll have a look looks pretty good apart from that bit there it won't stay down but if you wanted to you could use tear tape on the vellum so what I'm going to do next is, I got, um, I, I think it's called, the wonderful um, floral framelits. I got this die here, and um, all I'd done was I got a um, piece, I'll show you this piece. I just got a square piece of, um, like, white, um, whisper white, and all I'd done is I... Pop that um, on the end corner of it. So what I'll do is I'll show you what I mean. So I'll just stick that on the corner of the. Just pretend that's a square, and I've stuck that on the corner, and I'll run it through my my big shot so I can show you um, what it what I've done. Hopefully I'm not, I'll go back again, so, and all I've done, see, I've just cut that away from that piece, so, oh, chuck that over there, and, and I've just got that little shape there, but because this one's a bit bigger, I'm going to use that one. But that's how I got that so because I want to have a corner to go on my um on that card there. So all I'm gonna do before I glue that down, I'm gonna um get just another piece. Hello Roz from Florida. How are you? How are you, Shelby? Hello Carol, hi Pamela, and everybody else. So What's the weather like in Florida and Michigan and North Carolina? So, used to be coming into the summer and we're starting to come into winter. So, so this part here, I've, I've done that one. And then I've done the same. I just got a square piece and I popped it onto a, just a, a piece of Whisper White just to... Um, where like but I'm going to cut this down because I don't want it and I'm going to have that one sit on this side so well, I'm not quite sure yet I don't know I may go actually I might go corner to corner I think I like that so and I'll show you what I'll do with that piece in a minute so what I'm going to do is I've just got a piece of um a blank like just a square piece here I'm just going to pop it in the corner I don't know if I want that yeah I might do that dip that design so what I'm doing is I'm giving myself a little border around the corners and I'm just going to grab my pencil so I'll sit it there where I want it just so I've got a little bit of a border and I'm just going to put a little mark there and there and I'm just and then I'll do the same with the other the other one so I'll pop that there I want a little bit of a border there so and I'm just going to grab my pencil and I'm just going to put a little little nick there and there so I'll pop that up so over there 
and I'll get my so all I'm going to do is those pencil marks I'm just going to sit in my if hopefully I'm in view I'm just where I've done the little pencil mark I'm just going to try to line them up easy if I go like that and then I'm just going to so hopefully that will give me a little bit of a border and it will and okay where did I pop that one I've lost it oh there it is okay so pop that down it's easier to um, pop it where I want it then and then I'll cut that one off so hopefully if I've measured properly I will have like that will be just a nice little border and there you go so what I'm going to do is I'll glue those pieces on too much glue Michelle Yeah, sorry for the um, not going on live yesterday. Um, as most of you know, I haven't been very well lately. And um, I had a flare-up uh, over Easter. Um, it was my own fault. Um, I decided that I'd um, have a, some white bunny rabbit. And I had lots of milky dairy stuff that... Um, the day before like Easter Sunday and um, yeah I got really went really good so I wasn't very um, feeling very well yesterday to um, do my Facebook live so I decided to cancel and do it today so I'm just going to pop that there does anybody else do that I say pop a little bit of glue, but my little bit of glue um, just decides to be heaps of glue. So I was going to say I'd, I was making this for my mum, but um, no, my mum she um, she'd be on here. I am making her one, but um, yeah, not this one. But I thought I'd share um, what I'm doing. So all I'm going to do. Is I'm only going to pop. I can work out where I. So I'm only going to pop a bit of glue. A little bit, just down the outsides of there, and just a little bit on that flower. And that flower. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that back. So I'm going to pop it. So I've got. It's sitting right in the corner because I don't want to have any of that showing. And glue those down. So now what I've done is I've made a little pocket. So, but I'll show you what I'm going to pop in that. So I'll let that dry that side. And then I'll do this, this one as well. So, um, so, hello to anybody else that's popped on. And I'm going to do the same with this one. So I'm going to pop this in this corner. So I'm going to do each, each corner. So I'm just going to run a little bit of glue down this side. This is, I, I've, got that many scrapbooks and I just love doing this sort of thing so and it's just I've never had the courage to pop on and um, do a complete album yet but one day I may so so all I'm going to do is I'm going to line that up down in there and over there no go back But, um, and there's my second pocket so 
so that's that and in the middle I've, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do but I'll show you how I done so I'll pop that one up there out of the way for a second I've made some little um I've already made this one but I'm going to show you how I made this can't remember what size they were they were um, four and a half by by four um, and grab my score Hopefully I... and all I've done is I scored that half an inch so I just scored one little corner half an inch and then I just folded it over so that gives me um, like if you I think I've yeah no I did I I'll cut that down because I did make that one um, a little bit smaller I think I'm gonna remember how what size they it's four and a quarter okay four and a quarter so I'm not quite sure whether I needed um I'm gonna do three of them so I've done that one and I'll do another one so I'll cut that one down first before I score and then I'm just gonna score at a quarter and that's that I'll pop that up there I'm gonna see how many I can fit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, a waterfall effect. So I'll pop one up there. So all I'll do is put a bit of glue on here. So Hi Shirley, how are you? Hi Joyce. Hi Janice from New Zealand. Hi. How are you all today? So I think this is my old glue. We'll see how, how it goes. So all I'm going to do is just put a little bit of glue, but you can design these however you like. So, okay, better put the lid on that glue. So all I'm going to do is I need to turn it around so I can get it um, fairly straight. So I'm just going to pop it up to where I... So the first one I'm just lining up. Oh, and I didn't do the... I wonder if I could do that. It's always something that I forget. I'll see if I can do it while it's stuck on there now. So I was meant to um, round the corners, but it doesn't matter. So that's the first one. So hopefully I've got that on straight. And then the next one is... And that the next one is just going to be buttered. Actually, oh, what am I doing? That's it. So the next one is just going to be buttered up against there. So, so I'll put a bit of glue on that one. I won't worry about. It. I was going to do this. Um, cut out the little corners like that but um, I never never did it so so all I've done is put a bit of glue on there and I've folded it and I'm just going to pop that up against that one and hopefully it lines up so and then I just just rub it so And if I wanted to, I could probably cut the next side one down and so that one will just sit over top of there. It's probably not as straight as I would like it, but yeah. I don't think this one would fit. I'll try him. I'll just sit him there and see. Yeah, it's a bit too long. Yeah, it's a bit too long. Unless I snip a little bit off. But, um, yeah, I should have snipped a bit more off them. But it's going to be 
a little bit too long and actually I will cut a little bit off because I want to have the whole three of them in there so I'll just cut a little snip off just a little we'll see how that goes that might just sit um, that one sit in no, a little bit more we'll see how that sits no I'm not gonna even worry about it I'll just leave that one and what I'll do is I'll just I can just have a little little piece in there so yeah Okay, I'm just going to go with the two. If I'd have cut them a bit smaller, I would have been able to fit them. So, but I'm not, I don't like having like a smaller gap down here. So, so that's that, that part there. And then I got, um, so, I'll crop out of that. I've, Hi Wendy, that's okay. So, hi Tamara, how are you? All these ladies that um, I'm so excited that you are all joining me. So, so all I've done here is I, um, I'm going to go that way because that way. I've cut um, four little pieces that are actually at like a quarter, a quarter of an inch, um, like little border all the way around. So. I think they, they will cut it four and um three and three quarters by three and a half. So so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue those down. And okay, this I'm at the end of that glue, so I'm gonna pop him upside down somewhere up in there. Up in my storage um, system. So, but if you haven't got a demonstrator and you live in Australia, um, I'd be happy to mail out the new catalogue that's coming in May. So, after the video, I'll pop all my links on um, for you to um, to join my mailing list. Um, where my mailing list is like you can get a newsletter as well. Um, telling you all about oh, like I'll pop on and send you a newsletter letting you know all about the new products that are coming um, so so yeah so if you'd like to um, get a catalogue um, and you would like to be kept up to date with all um, all the news of Stamping Up um, yeah pop on to my mailing list so you could um, pop another one up there. I think I might go the same theme all the way through. I quick think I like that that green. So all I'm doing is just popping a bit of um, and all these little mats here. Um, you can like cut your little photos down. I haven't cut any photos down to show you today. So, but, um, but for example, this is my two gorgeous grandsons when they were both little. So, but see, so you could like, I could cut if I could cut that out or if I, I can cut it out and put it on a little mat and pop it in there. So, or if I wanted to, this is my, my Lincoln, Lincoln, little grandson Lincoln. Um, so I could probably cut him out and like just have his like head showing so but pop it in there and just have a little bit of a border all the way around so but yeah but um I haven't done scrapbooking in a long time and um I really can't wait to get back into doing it so okay and I love how I'm using the um oh, I can't think what it's called I've got them here. I'm called. I'm using the Floral Romance um, specially designer series paper. 
um, and I absolutely love this set. Like, it's a pity that they um, are retiring it. I just love all the... I love the set all together. So, it's one that I'll never sell. So, I'll keep it. So, And I haven't cut one for the background yet. So, but um, I won't... Um, but, actually, I'll come back and glue that bit there. But there, it sort of gives you the little waterfall effect and if you wanted to um, and something I might do um, you could pop another bit down here so I could pop another piece of this down here or pop a white piece there and um, and have a bit of ribbon like I'll show you what I mean like lay a piece of um, ribbon down I might do that anyway lay a piece of ribbon down put your piece um, of that underneath and then like glue it down and glue that down on top and then um, you can have that and have your little um, like bow to tie to tie that so but um, actually while I'm doing it I'll do it so I'm not quite sure. I'll get a piece. I wonder if that piece will... I might chop him down and I will do that. Okay. I'm working on the fly today, ladies. So you don't normally see me doing all this on camera. I'm normally... Um... Okay. We'll cut that down. Just see how big... Yeah, probably another quarter of an inch from that. So we'll see how I go. This actually might go in just nicely, this piece, so it does too. There you go. So I'll just stick that down, but before I do that, I will um, pop a bit of the ribbon. I won't, um, I'll just see how I go. And um, this beautiful ribbon, I love this, um, it's the... Like bone, the petal pink and whisper white um, ribbon. I'm, I'm actually sure this one's um, not retiring, but I could be wrong. So, get my double sided tape. I like using double sided tape or me tear tape, whatever you like to call it. I like to use that with my ribbon. So, thanks to the love hearts, ladies. Really appreciate it. I'm in my element here. I like I said, I love um, doing scrapbooking. So all I'm going to do is pop the piece on there, and I'm just going to tie it, and we're just going to eyeball it and glue it there, because then that'll come down there. Actually, I should have went up a little bit more. So it'll give me that much. And I'll chop this bit off here. Oh, hang on. I did that the wrong way. Nearly had it upside down. <laughs> okay. And then I'm just going to glue this piece here on top of. And then I'm just going to pop that one. So that worked out really well. So and all I'm going to do is just glue that over top of there. And, and hold it down for a little minute. So, so hello ladies that have popped on. I will um, go back later um, and... Um, Say hi and um, respond to your comments. So, but um, actually, I need my 
my embossing buddy. I find um, when I have sticky bits, I go back with my embossing buddy and um, it stops them from being sticky. So I'll just chop a little piece of that off. Probably got too much, but it's okay. And I may have to, I'm going to see if I can do that because that one there is, um, I won't try doing that now. I'll see if I can do that off camera. But I should be able to now just tie this little bit of ribbon. I'm just going to tie it in a little in a little knot. So, but um, yeah, I'll just chop that little bit. And there you go. I just like the knot effect, so but I'll pop that bit. There you go. So you could decorate that however you want. I've got a few flowers. Hopefully I'm up in view. I seem to move down. So sorry ladies if I've moved down and you haven't seen what I've been doing. But I will go back in and I'll, I'll cut these little sections. Um, I won't try doing it. No, my luck I'll, I'll, I'll bugger up. So... But I've got little, um, these little flowers cut from the, um, I think it's called Popper Petals, um, like punch. So, and you can pop some little flowers, don't want those ones, but um, you can pop some little flowers. I seem to be getting all green ones. You can have a little flower there, you could probably have some flowers, little flowers up there if you wanted to. You could have your little photo, like just saying that was cut and it was on like a little mat. Um, I'll go that way. And then you could pop him, like pop that in there um, if you wanted to. And you could have that so it only it was only stuck on. So I'll, I'll do that. So you just glue that little bit so then this little piece... You can slip in to there and you can have that so the flower is actually over top of um so i'll pop that one up there i actually want two the same so but um but you get the idea so i don't want to um sit here and do this all day um but yeah pop a little um one up there pop i could pop a little flower down in there if i wanted to so, but I will pop some, pop all the photos on my um, blog of of all this when it's all done. So, and I'll have um, all the photos. Or if you wanted to, you could pop. Um, I'm really loving the Daisy Delight. I'm actually just so excited that they're um, like this, and I can't wait to get the um, the new one. So. All I've done is stamped, um, like, tone on tone. So, petal pink. on I think it's petal pink. Yeah. Or, it's either petal pink or, um, I can't think of the other one. Um, oh, oh, my pinks and everything's just gone today. But, yeah, just the same colour as, um, yeah, cardstock. Um use the, the same colour ink and um, so I could probably pop that there or I can have one up there. I don't want to make it too bulky inside though so I'll probably just put a little um, flower down here and here but that's on the inside. So that's what I've done there. So I'll just close that up and then on the front I'll just open it up. So on the front here I've got a piece already cut out, so, and I'm going to go, because on the other side, we've used this, this on the inside, so I'm just going to um, glue this down, not that one, glue that side down, 
So I'll glue that down and lots of glue. Thank you, Cheryl. Hello, how are you? Yeah, no, I love doing these sort of things, so I should do a lot more. And um, I'm in my element here, so um, not. Oh, I love making cards, but um, yeah, once I get going with this, I'm I'm all like I get so excited. So all I'm doing is gluing that down, that piece. I know it's not a lot of stamping in this one, um, but um, I don't really want to do a lot of stamping. Uh, I, you can't really do a lot of stamping in um, scrapbooking, so like with flowers and that. But like scrapping, scrapbooking's more. Um, and then I, I cut. Uh, a, a piece of this from the I had it and I'm glad that they're actually um, this one's going over to the next the springtime in expressions impressions sorry impressions finlets so I just cut that out from there and I'm because this is a little bit big I need to snip just that little bit there off so all I'm going to do is snip him off and I'm going to do the same sort of thing as I did on the inside. I'm just going to pop some glue, little bits, just little bits, not overdo it like I've just done it. Just on um, the corner part. So, and. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that down. I'm just making sure we're on. It's the right way around. And all I'm going to do is pop that down. We're taking down a little bit more. He's probably decided he wants to stick now. No, that's okay. And then I'll leave my wet one because I've got glue all over me. So, hi Michelle. Did you, I um, popped your card out in the mail. Um, I hope you and um, Gail got them. So, they should be coming. If they're not there today, they um, will be there probably Monday. So, Need my bossing and buddy again. It's just a because it's a little bit sticky. That's a good trip trip trick. Um, but you're really not gonna um see that. So I've done the same thing as again, is like so you can I wanna pop a little gift card in here, so but um I'm not quite sure I'm gonna make a little gift card so it'll it'll slip in there. So, but that's that's what I wanted to do anyway. And because I'm using um, like the purple, or not purple, fresh fig, I've already cut a flower out and I've already um, done, um, used Winker Stella on there. So, so I'm going to, that's going to go there. And I've already stamped Happy Mother's Day out of the Strong and Beautiful stamp set out of this one. So, but you could go in and you could inside your um, little um, album or your little, yeah, little album. Um, you could you could have God made my mother, made you my mother, love made you my friend. So that's the one that I want to pop on for my mum. But um, all I decided to do is I was just going to put this up on dimensionals and I was going to pop that little flower there. And I didn't really want to do much else. Probably um, stick a little couple of little green leaves um, up in here. So I'll do that. I'll stick that down first so I know where I want to um, pop it. 
because I want to keep it over here so I've still got enough room to stick something in there. So, actually, that's the way because see how you, you make a mistake. So, what happens? You turn it over and you stamp it again. So, <laughs> I was wondering why I was. Um, so, I'll just grab my dimensionals. So, so, like I said, maybe I'm thinking um, for anybody that likes um, likes my page, shares um, my video and types shared in the comments, I may make another one of these and give it away um, on my next week's live. So, so, there you go. So, and if you like any of these products, um, you can um, click on the shop now tab i'll have that on the end of the video um and you can go on and purchase any of these some of them like the paper and um are retiring um at the end of um the third of june so so get in quick and get them if you want them because once they're gone they're gone so all i'm gonna do is I'm going to pop some dimensionals on there. So, and on the back page here, while I'm um, talking about it, I might even, see, I might put that one on there. I'm not quite sure. Um, just for a little pocket. Or I might um, chop all those flowers off and just have this as a little pocket. So I um, can add some more photos. So... So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that one over there as far as I can go. And then I'll pop that one about there. Well, what I might do, oh, I'll do that first. So I'll pop that up on a dimensional as well. I've actually shaped those. Um, I like to get my flowers and give them a, a bend. And then I have a real a big ballpoint um tool that I put on a um, mat and I really like to push it around on the mat and it gives it that um, look so thank you Anne so all I've done is popped a dimensional on there I'll out of the way and I'm just going to that about there and then I'm just going to use a couple little green leaves and um, I just want a bit bit of a greenery on the front so what I'm going to do is I'll pop just a little bit of glue on the bottom leaves a little bit of glue and I'm just going to poke them in there If I snip that end off, it might go in there a bit better. So I'm just going to poke that in there. And push that down. I think the, uh, the green leaves actually gives it a bit. And these little leaves are out of the... Um, oh, I just had the set there. Ah... Oh. Oh. They're out of the, yeah, I can't remember what the, the wonderful floral framelits. So out of the same set that's retiring. So, so all I'm going to do is pop a bit of glue there and I'm just going to do the same to there. And it just gives it, oh, maybe if I glued it down. And if you wanted to, you could put a bit of Winker Stella on there. I don't know if I need the third. Yeah, I do. I love leaves. So, so I'm just going to pop a little bit, a little bit of glue on there. And I'm just going to pop that one under there. And under 
で。And if you wanted to, you could pop a little um little pearl in the in the center. But um, there you go. That's your your front. So I don't think I need anything else because I don't want to um. Or you could poppy. Like I know this one's a bit too big, but you could probably pop a, a little butterfly up in the corner there I haven't got one cut but um, probably a little butterfly the same color as the um, in fresh big so but um, or I, I can even stamp a little butterfly up in there so or you know with these little flowers little flower so or leave it plain so what do you reckon a little butterfly up in the corner here or you reckon just leave it plain because um like I said when I make um my I was so but I can't find I had a little tag here to um but um so there you go and you could probably add some little pearls so um, little pearls and that but um, that's what I've done today so I could do a lot more to that um, like I said um, add some flowers or I could probably um, yeah so that's the front like I said I don't really want a rhinestone in there because I think it um, takes away the but um, just saying if that was the uh, um here again if this was like my little tag see that could go in there I even quite like the hearts so, at uh, the oval shape so I could have a little message on that so but yeah so but that's that so and so that's the front Oh, and I need to put something on that because that's a back part too. So I will. I'll pop. Actually, I'll see if I can pop another little. I did have another one cut out for that. So. Oh, I may, may not have. So. But yeah. But um, I'll pop something on there anyway. But that's like in the middle. Um, so. So there you go. So some some little quick and simple little project that doesn't take much, and you can dress it up how you want it, um, dress it down. So however you like. But um, I've already got a few pre-cut flowers. I could put a little flower, but I don't want to bulk it up too much because, um, like I said, little photos they slip in there. So I know this one's a bit too big. I haven't got a little one to to show you so but um yeah but I don't think I really need much more probably a little tiny flower here because if I'm going to add photos I don't want to have too much um but there you go or if you wanted to you could put a little sentiment on here um you can have a little little sentiment like this even this is cute never thought about that one so I've just done um, a stitched love heart and then I've got a little um, bit stitched on there or even you could have that just sitting in there so I think that looks cute too so but that's a man get your imagination running wild and you come up with all sorts of um, creations but there you go so that was my little um, little thing for today so and I will undo that for anybody that missed what um, I've done. So all I've done was, um, so if you go back and start, if you missed anything, go back and watch the start of it. So, and all it is is, um, yeah, just a little waterfall. Um, and I, I will put some more um, cardstock on, some more of this on here. And um, I'll cut, cut a little strip down for that, so... But there you go.
So I hope you enjoyed that. And um, I won't do that up, but um, I quite like that little that little part in there. So, so yeah, so pop over and visit my blog. I'll have all these up, and um, and I'll have the video link as well, so you can go back and watch it. But yeah, so anyway, um, I'll go and I'll let you get back to what you were doing. And um, thanks for tuning in and. Um, yeah, please, if you're watching this back on YouTube, um, please yeah, subscribe to my channel and um, like my page and um, click on the bell so you'll get notif notified for when I do um, future videos. So, but Anyway, I'll get going and I'll let you go and um, until next time, I'll see you next Thursday. Okie dokie. Bye for now.